When you're ready, meet me at the Pnyx in Athens. Let's see what this city has in store for me. Off we go now. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Back. She is no threat to Pericles, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you and Cleon both made good points. Good points aren't at all what the crowd seem to care about. They're afraid, and Cleon indulged their fear. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? 
I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Irodoto said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man. On trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. Have we done all that Pericles asked? Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here, tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Meteochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. The 
part of Athens I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes? Like the ones that were meant to kill Meteochus. Yeah. It looks like the thugs who attacked Meteochus weren't the masterminds behind this plot. Snake bites, and someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. This must be the house of Meteochus' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Meteochus. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteochus with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us. There will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of this snake seller. Thank you for helping us see the truth. Stay out of sight. Watch will be vigilant here.
no one here. Come on. I'll end you, Mistyos. You'll feel the sting of my venom. You can't stop me. His death should keep friends of Pericles safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mistyos. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. <gasps> Thank you for your help. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Don't have much time.
should let Pericles' contact know. Done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens. <laughs> Slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course, yet Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be, when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? I'm more responsible, but I did it because I have one concern, myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Share a friend. I saw you talking to my associate, Pericles. 
From what I saw, you weren't doing much associating. That's just politics. Pericles is a good man, a fine man, just not the right man. That's not what I heard. From whose lips? His? He was elected. Athens is the seat of democracy. Oh, it is. It's just that the wrong man is sitting in that seat. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Pericles is holding parties for the rich and powerful Why we're under siege. What I want is for my people to reclaim control. You could help me. My services don't come cheap. I understand the wills of commerce and the needs of the people. I will pay you handsomely for your services. And how do you want me to help? Help Athens, not me! The Spartans howl outside our city walls. Create chaos among their ranks. Make them suffer as we do. Think about it. Will you take my commission and show the Spartans we are not defeated yet? I have no problem killing Spartans. Good. Kill their commander, Nabis. Destroy their supplies and return to me with proof of your exploits. Show them that we have teeth, too. I'll get it done. Trust me, this is a huge opportunity for you. Come on. They'll be on high alert here. There is the supplies. Is someone trying to get my attention?
Sounds human. Better check it out. Save them now. We still have to take the city. And we will. Time Athens will be ours. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. They didn't deserve to die! Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah
trouble if I'm spotted here. Commander and bring back proof. Simple. Huh. This might interest Cleon. And it'll give him the proof he wants. You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this note was on important business for Athens. 
Why was the messenger trying to get to Mytilini? He was to help distribute supplies to the people there. To help them against their oppressors. Who is this man to you? You look concerned. He was only an aide. It was his mission that was important. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted? You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. It could have been anything. A good point. And because of this, I have another task for you. I need you to find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note? Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the ship I've read it for him. Where's the ship I need to take him to? For now, it's safer you don't know. Once you find him, he will tell you. Tell me about this messenger of yours. He's of no significance, but his mission is. Find him so he can complete it. What mission is your messenger on? The fewer people who know, the better. But understand, it is vital to the future of Athens. Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. Let's go. <laughs> It'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. The messenger, he's being held in that prison camp. Mount Pantelikos holds the purest marble in the Greek world. I heard they built the Parthenon with it. Στη 
Give it up! Yeah. 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 Looks like I was too late for Yerimus. Huh. Seems Cleon's messenger wasn't the only one captured. Maybe I can help them too. Thank you. I need to get to my ship. I'll reward you well. You have a ship? Yes. I came inland to meet an associate. You might have seen him. He enjoyed Spartan hospitality at the end of a rope. Yerimos? I was sent to rescue him. We can still complete the mission if you help me. Tell me who you are. Captain Onomaklis. I'm on an urgent mission. I need to get out of here. Spartan patrols could find us at any moment. Agreed. We need to get to my ship. I'll get you to your ship. Just point me in the right direction. It's on the coast. Just south of Marathon Beach. What's so important about this ship? It's not the ship, but it's cargo. It must reach its destination. Then what's the cargo? I'm not ungrateful for your help. But it's better you don't Let go. know. Why is that? Just yeah! believe me. What we do is for the security and future of others. This mission must succeed. My payment relies on it, so trust me, it will. Let's go.
Your crew met the same fate as you. I don't blame Yerimus for talking. Sparta is yeah. Stay here. I'll kill the Spartans, destroy their ships, and free your crew. My thanks. thanks. I owe you, Mistios. You must well, Thank you. Ah! 
You've done nothing. A great service. On my return, I will make sure to acknowledge it. Well, you did mention payment. More than that. You will have earned the favor of some powerful people when they hear of what you've done. I hear it's useful to have powerful friends. The way the world is now, you need them more than ever. What do you mean? I've said enough, and my sheep awaits. Thank you again, Mistyos. I hope we'll meet again. You took far longer than I expected. There were... Uh, complications. In what way? Your messenger was dead by the time I arrived, but I was still able to free the captain, and the ship sailed. So, I still did the job. Ah, oh, poor Yerimos. But I should be thankful for your initiative. You don't seem very concerned about poor Yerimos. Every struggle has its sacrifice. Jerimos played his part well. What's in Mytilene that's so important? People. We need as many allies as we can gather. This was more than I bargained for. You'll be amply compensated. You have done me and the people a huge service. One day you will see your part in this great work. These statues are incredible. The sculptors truly are masters of their craft. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. Just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. It's been so long since Phidias and I have seen each other. You understand, don't you? Oh! Come to pay him a last visit before the trial. He's as good as dead, you know. Better make this one count. Just don't tell anyone I was here. Sure, sure. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. They? Who? The shadows in the night. Why you fear falling asleep? They're hunting me. Us. No one is safe in Athens anymore. The Cult of Cosmos. You know about them. Of course I know about the cult. Here, look at this. These are instructions. On how to kill me. But they've been torn. Then Pericles isn't just getting you out of Athens to save you from the trial. He's saving you from being murdered. 
I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? Many boats, so many people. There must be enough food here to feed Kefalonia for a year. If I meditate, maybe Phidias will be here when I'm done. Good, you made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Seriphos while we still can. I hope leaving Athens was the right thing to do. Of course it was. You'll be safe this way. Will I? Safer than you were, at least. If the cult can't find you, they can't kill you. It's simple. So long as they don't find me, yes. But who knows where they are? Who they are? We could be heading somewhere even more dangerous. Maybe. But this is your best chance. before he made it halfway down. I guess some mysteries are best left unexplored. Sails! This is a nice ship. You don't have to do that. Do what? Fill the silence. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that at all. I simply don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be freeing. Yes, freeing seems to be a better word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're killing it up. Ship oars! Lower the oars! 
stomach turning as much as mine is. You'll get used to it. We'll reach Serifos before long. Attention! Commander leaving the helm! It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Thiras. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. Oh, that's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Thank you again. Don't forget to come see me under less stressful circumstances. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again. Try to stay out of sight.
I'd better see what that was. Boss? We'll be watching you, Miss Dios. Ah, at least give them a welcome first. Fine. Pericles welcomes you to his symposium. Cassandra, it's you! Phoebe! You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... 
How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. You just got here. You can't leave already. Thank you for your help, my friend. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air blood. I've had my feeling. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point of view. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? Ah, the mystios from the ostracism. Let's talk later. I'm too busy to deal with you at the moment. Go on now, out of my kitchen. Here, we were just discussing Emmy Posit's in his indictment of Aspasia. Well, you were. I'm sleeping with my eyes open. <laughs> Here, Cassandra, the mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will, if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of the opinionated tongue. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, Euripides. <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. 
If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon talk at the Pnyx. Even for a politician, he's scum. Bah! You sound like every other blowhard in this place. Cleon is a champion of the people, and he's ready to tear down Pericles' elitism. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends? Hardly. Hermippus led the Charles to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or... Oh, forget it. This has been useless. Here. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. 
I'm every pivis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every pivis likes to say. Don't you every pivis? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. <laughs> I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I'm the greatest dramatist in the land. Mentor to every Pivis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pivis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pivis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. I'll return. And when I do, you two will drink up. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. 
Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. Care for another impression? My favorite is Sophocles. Uh, that one isn't funny. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every piece, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. Dionysus, there you are. Everyone else here is boring. Let's play a singing game. You like to sing? You like to sing. What did you have in mind? One of us will sing, then the other, and then back again. We'll take turns making verses, and whoever makes the best is the winner. Let's do this. I want to play too, but who should start? Every piece should start. It was his idea. Fine, fine, but let's do a good one. A battle song? Is there any other kind? At the flick of a limb comes a spacious whim, and Pericles' walls aim to contain us all within. The Spartan hordes outside eat your cattle and children alive. They dance at your walls, they don't rain but they squall. Pericles guarantees death for us all. Oh, so bring your merchants and bring their butlers. If they be sons, they bring their fathers. This is war, war, war. Bring your murderers to the crimson quiver. Bring the helots if they be spillers. It is war, war, war. Collect your weak and collect your sinners. Line them up at the Falling's dinner. This is war, war, war! If they want blood, then blood you'll give them. I'll stab their guts and let them spill it. This is war, war, war! The stupid sweepers, the genius teachers, all just meats and juice and liver. So grab your spears and grab your daggers. Plunge them deep in. Heroes they'll make us. This is war, war, war. This is war, war, war. War, war, war. War, war, war. Enough, enough. You, your 
a great singer. The best. <laughs> you should act in my plays. Here, take this to remember the occasion. This party has turned out much better than I ever could have expected. Find Hippocrates in Argos. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Someone's being hurt. Open this door or I'll kick it in. Oh, 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 oh don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door. Wide. Wide open for you. I thought this party was tame even by Athenian standards. Until now. Let them have their meeting of the minds. I'm more interested in meeting other parts. Ali, we're out of oil again. Ali? You know they like you when they give you a pet name. There's more olive oil in the kitchen, but Aspasia keeps complaining about me walking unencumbered through her symposiums. You mean naked? Mm, it sounds so good when you say it. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. If you don't get the oil soon, all our fun will end. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so... different. No one is like Pericles. And he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... How I wish you were right. One day, we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. I might be back. If you come back with a jar of oil, I promise to show you how grateful I am. Carry on. Ah! 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 Ah
Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... Join us. Time for some fun. You'll have to help me strip off these uncomfortable Athenian robes. Gladly. If you like, we can feed them to the goat. There's another goat? <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd uh, earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Etera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. And Susha in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. 
Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Virini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. I'll help you however I can during your travels. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. 
I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him Atiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Come on. Let's go. By the gods, is that you? By the gods, Itor, is that you? You look... <laughs> you look old, my friend. When was the last time I saw you? Kefalonia. That job for Marcos. Remember? We ended up back to back, surrounded by angry pirates. Though, as I recall, I had your back. 
polish your memories like you would your armor, and they'll make much better tales. I'd heard rumors you'd settled down in Attica. Always thought you'd die with a blade in your hand, not open up a shop. The blade I always thought I'd take with me is missing. I could use your help, if you're willing to assist an old friend. You mean Arby? You loved that blade. Some Malacca's commander came in here demanding I fix his fucking twig. When I couldn't, he said I was obligated to provide a new one. And the one he wanted was hanging on my wall. I'll get Arpi back for you. Don't do anything stupid. I just want her back. Hey, you know me. That's why I'm afraid. Tell me where to find the commander. He's here, in Attica, at Fort Filey. Why go to so much trouble for an old sword? She's the only thing I loved that never left. And how will I know her when I see her? How could you forget a hilt of gold with a curling serpent moving up the blade? Always sharp, no matter what. And when you swung her, well, she'd sing a siren song of death. Kept me alive through many a scrape. That I do remember. I should be going. Remember? We don't want trouble. Just sneak in and take it. You're still good at that, right? I won't lower myself to answer that. This must be Fort Faili. If it turns right, I'll find the sword inside.
There's someone over there. I'm taking a look. Seen them yet? I haven't seen anything, sir. Don't give up. They are here, somewhere. They Understood. died quickly. Light the alarms! She's here, somewhere. Let's go. On your command. Well, report! Nothing to report, sir! They don't get away! <laughs> Yeah, the smith didn't make it, though. He can knock a dent out all right, but that's so. That's real craftsmanship, that is. I need to find who's doing that.
is RP, all right. No mistaking this blade. Glad you're back safely. Did you get my Arpi? Yes, I found Arpi. Good, good. And what of that Malakas commander? He didn't survive our encounter. <laughs> you are a true friend. The sword wasn't stolen from you, was it? You used me. Truth be told, I never said it was stolen. You... Ah, a crime of omission only, my friend. You know how important Arpi is to me. I had no money. Couldn't fight anymore. I would have died without a drachmi by the side of the road. Selling Arpe enabled me to start my business. You wouldn't begrudge a man a second chance, would you? No. But I don't like being lied to. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Itor, you had my back and taught me so much on Kefalonia. Don't worry about the drachmi you promised. Consider the favor repaid. You've grown into a fine woman, Cassandra. A better mercenary, with both a strong arm and a kind heart, would be hard to find. Sometimes too kind. Just don't tell anyone. Can't have people thinking I'm weak. No, of course. A mysterious reputation is everything. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have Arpi back. Take care of yourself, Vitor, and try not to lose anything else. Itor. Ah, my friend! I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. What's this man to you, really? How could you say that? It wouldn't be the first time you led me astray. By the gods, this man is one of us, Cassandra. A mystios, an old comrade. We should help out a brother. Please. Will you rescue him for me? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp, just north of here. Why are you so worried about a mercenary? He's a friend. Didn't I do the same for you? Remember that trouble you and Marcos got into? Yes, yes, you're right. If we're not going to look out for each other, who will? Time to go get your friend. Huh? What are you doing back alone? I take it you didn't rescue my friend?
Thank you. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You lied to me again! This isn't how friendships work, Itor! Listen, please. I'm sorry, but you don't know what this man did to me. That's fucking rich, Hitor. Why don't you tell her the truth? Shut up, murderer. What's going on? Trust me, this man needs to die. I gave you a contract to bring him to me. Do not interfere, and I will reward you well. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? It sounds like neither of you was at fault. He drew his weapon first. You were with my wife. What did you expect? It is my right to restore my honor. It seems neither of you wanted to kill her. There are no winners here, and neither of you has to die. Let it go. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry. You destroyed my life that night. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you... Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't rub off on you. 
Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles, or any other shape. You answered one of my questions, and that brought another to mind. And another. Ooh, and another. Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sofanis can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are! Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. And with good news, too. My favorite kind. You did it, then? Of course I did. Sophanis' name is now on the citizen list. Perfect! I knew you were the right Mystios for the job.
Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. The guy Alkibiad is called handsome. Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, uh, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Theon may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. Oh, make sure Sofanis doesn't know I was part of this. Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. 
If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. The famous Acropolis, a testament to humankind's skill and craftsmanship.
I call that impression the lap dog. I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received from Cleon's table. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? This may be the first time I've seen Socrates listen more than he speaks. Remember it well. You may not see it ever again. I prefer to think before I speak, and now, having thought, I shall. Tell me, just as I am allowed to say what I wish, should not all be allowed to do the same? Of course not. And there's much you've said that I'd say you shouldn't have, Socrates. What if I say offends one, but is loved by another? Should I say nothing in fear of what people may think? That would be nice, yes. If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Hermipos is in front of you, what are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet. But I promise you, it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermipos. Ha! Huh, me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Security here. Doesn't look like Armipos is here. I should take a look around. This is a lot of money for someone like Hermipos. Explains his residence, at least.
someone's down, I'll take a look. Like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. A mask from the cult of Cosmos. Ermipos must be a member. What is it? I couldn't find Ermipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Ermipos and the Cult, I'd imagine. Ermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. <sighs> Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. I won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. <clears throat> what was that? What? <clears throat> Ah! <laughs> 
you down. It's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can't such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. They'll be on high alert.
escape are you the one who stole the horse socrates said i should talk to you bad enough being caught but to have a mystios judge me better than an athenian guard anything to say the man i stole it from won't even miss it he has plenty of others while my only horse died last week if i had the drachmi to buy a new one i would have did you steal the horse to use it or sell it I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It'll do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? The outcome may be better, but he should still be punished for his crime. That is true, yet, if his peers were to decide, especially those he saved, they may argue that though the action was wrong, it was necessary and just. I'm not sure the law cares about the reasons. But if we are to decide whether the law should act on a man, or if his crime should be pardoned, the worthiness of the action should be taken into account, should it not? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. If a farmer steals a fruit today but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow, who may decide if he's good, huh? Let's go. So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. 
I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. More like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fathon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. But I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Phaedon his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. 
I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child? An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. Let's go. If I kill her, Feather goes free. But that means Odessa dies, and I help the cult. You think Odysseus have to take care of his sick father? If I hope to be remembered, I can't stay in one place like this. Stop standing around and do what I've told you. Cassandra! I haven't seen you since you took me to the ruins of Odysseus. Odessa, you remember. What's wrong? You have a look about you. It feels weird saying this to you, but someone wants me to kill you. That's nothing new to me lately. Now, where were we? Ah, I was surprised you remembered me. Of course I do. You told me to stay home with my family. Seems like you're doing that. Not by choice. You asked if I wanted to be remembered or to be happy. Well, taking care of my sick father does not make me happy. I've seen a lot of people. But you're one of the most beautiful I've ever met. Is that so? You're a welcome distraction from my problems. I've been told I'm great at being a distraction. I'm sure you have a bed inside we could use. <laughs> you get straight to the point, don't you? I'll show you how to the point I can get. I'm sure you will. So how about it? You know, I'd love to, but I have a couple of things I need to pick up for my father first. If you helped me, then we could maybe continue our conversation. Don't worry, I'm here to help. What do you need? A few herbs from the Valley of King Lelech nearby. Also need a mixture from the market to combine with the herbs. There's a merchant there holding on to it for me. Is your father really so sick you can't get them yourself? I'm his only child. I'd rather be close by, in case he gets worse. Do you know what's wrong with him? No, only that he's not getting better. The mixture and herbs I need may help with the pain, at least. If he dies, all his land will be yours, right? Yes, but I'd sell it anyway. What better reason to leave everything behind and truly begin my quest, like Odysseus? What's your connection to Odysseus? I'm a descendant of his. I'm named after him, too. Stay by your father. I'll be back with the herbs and the mixture. the herbs Odessa needs.
That merchant should be the one Odessa mentioned. Tell your friends, tell your family! The best wares Drachmi can buy. Even mercenaries like you can find something. Odessa sent me. Ah, of course! Sweet girl. I wish she had stopped by herself. This is for her father, I imagine? I'll take the payment, and you can be on your way. Here, take it. Quick sales are my favorites. I hope this helps Odessa. Seems like Odessa has been causing some problems for them, and they're also after her father's estate. Are the herbs and mixture okay? You did get them, didn't you? That's what you're worried about? We were just attacked. Surely you should be used to that by now. Random bandits litter these lands. What did that letter you were reading say? That they were after you and only you, not me. I can't believe it. Looks like it deals with your father's estate. They probably want you and him both gone, so they can take it. I could have died. Without making a name for myself, I'd never be worth anything at all. I won't let anyone hurt that face. No pain, no glory. How about you take me inside and show me a little pain? Oh, how I would love to do so, but this news... Someone aims to kill me. How could we possibly ignore such a thing for pleasure? Then where does that leave us? With a task at hand, clearly. Think what you must, but I can prove the truth to you. I just need your help. I'm not surprised. I'll let you know if you can have it. I was so happy when Odessa came home to me. Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. Don't the stories of Odysseus mention how great of a lover he was? Do they? I must have missed those. You said you wanted to be like Odysseus. We could do better than that. We will talk more about us once this is all done. First, the note you found was from the leader of Megaris. There has to be proof of what he's up to. <sighs> if there is, it would be at his home. Then go there. I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. Do you have any idea what I'm looking for? The leader is the most powerful man in Megaris. I can't accuse him of anything unless I have proof that he's after me. Let's say I do find the truth you're looking for. What next? Then I'd tell everyone who would listen. The leader wouldn't dare kill me or my father once everyone knows their plans. I'll be back with proof, whatever it may be. Stay out of sight. That's the place. 
Any proof to be found should be there. I'll need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. This letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. The leader of Megaris tried arranging a marriage for Odessa. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's estate. This letter mentions Odessa's estate and how crucial it is that they get it. By any means necessary. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously shortly after meeting her. I think I have enough to go on. I should return to Odessa. You've returned. I hope with good news. Before we get serious, how about we finally have some fun? I think I can spare a little bit of time. I plan on taking a lot longer than that.
I feel so relaxed. Now give me some good news so my mood can stay like this. You've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You don't deserve any of this. You're only trying to live your life. Of course I am. I've done nothing wrong. I just want to have a healthy father and to start my journey. You can start that after we have a little fun. I feel like I'm still recovering from the last time I slept with you. It was worth a shot. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? Hmm, well, you were always on my side. Plus, getting away from here would be nice. Great. What about your father? He's been feeling a lot better, thanks to you. You aren't worried someone will come after him? I'll be sure to share the information you found with a few people. They won't touch him so long as we have it. Then I'm happy to have you aboard. Thank you for helping Odessa and me. I'm starting to feel much better. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time.
Indians here. Probably Who just a bird, but I'll check. Hey, this is heavy, Mollis. Uh... What? This is how Athens got so rich.
Slavery is natural. It is necessary. Off we go now.
Finally brought me ahead! We're cracking open! I'm here! Come on. They'll be on high alert here. Someone must be making that noise.
Come on. The watch will be vigilant here.
Come on. Off we go now.
should be careful. High security here. Let's go. Let's hope no one notices me here. in their grip on power. like that.
Come on. Try to stay out of sight.
trouble if I'm spotted here. Don't want to be spotted here.
Where did that come from? Going to like that. Got to be careful not to get spotted. I need to stay hidden.
Let's go. The gates are shut. No trade can come or go. And an army of Spartans waits for its prey. Ella. I don't want to be spotted here. I should go look.
επικαλούμεσαι. Stay out of sight. Better stay hidden.
watch will be vigilant here.
Ο να κλονίσει την ισορροπία του πνεύματο. Τα γυναίκα διαθέχεστε όρο τάφη. Τραγωδία διευθύνει του νέου και ούτε καταμαρτακίζονται. Zeus will grow angry if they don't hurry up and finish this temple.
hope no one notices me here. Find out what that is. What was that? Is someone there? Well, that was a false alarm.
Come on. Now other beaches rival those of Marathon. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Check that out. Something's not right over there.
Ah, you're back. Come on. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight.
αιώνα καλυμών αποσπασία. Ελευσή. What great mysteries do you hide from us?
προτίμησε να δει τη μικρό. Ο πατήσω. Το αιμό χειρίδων εξέπλυσε. Ο
stay out of sight. Yes, it was now. Huh? Gonna check that out. Stay hidden.
I posted the quest on the ship's board. I have a good feeling about this one. Welcome back. There's a message for you on the board. Came from the Vilos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Cassandra. His name is Potharkis. You reading my messages, Barnabas? I may have taken a peek. Ready to depart! Mander, did you find what you were looking for in Athens? A few clues, but this won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now is trust the path the gods have laid out for us. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. The cult that wanted Nikolaus dead, they're also on my trail. Ah, oh, they're no match for you. You got that right. Entering open water. Watch for hostile ships. Virodotos, what's that island ahead of us? That, my friend, is the famous island of Sanos. The place where Athens defeated the Persians. It's in this bay that the great Athenian Stratigos and Mr. Yes. destroyed the Persian fleet and saved the Greek world from the invasion. You don't see many heroes like that anymore. These are treacherous around hell. We should be careful. <laughs> what? Charybdis and Scylla await at the bottom of the sea, I suppose. No! Pirates! A lot of them! <laughs> Only pirates? Sail down! Ship the oars! Activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronicity. Contacting. 